so many single chats and Call of Duty refugees. How my brothers and sisters are doing today because the entire Call of Duty community has went into coma. <laughs> Everybody is looking like this. The entire community, and I mean literally, the entire community is going ham at the bozos or at Activision because accidentally they've done something that you're gonna find out very, very soon. Charlie until he's on fire right now. We're gonna be putting America's number one most toxic gamer that there is. I'm talking about the homie Blame Truth, uh, who uh, sometimes by the friendly Okay, that might not be true, and maybe I was a little bit too aggressive there, guys, but like this video, share this video, subscribe, check this out. Roll Blame Truth here, and I made a video the other day talking about how Call of Duty, as of right now, is essentially dead. And what I mean by that is, whether you know it or not, you're probably facing cheaters, and I think that's going to really hurt the player base over yeah. the course of the next year. It already has. Not the coming years, because it's not just regular overt cheaters that you might see on TikTok yeah. or other social medias. It's subtle cheaters, even it down to somebody on console using a Cronus Zen. It, there's so many things you could do to manipulate and the reason is simple right over the years Krona Zen sales have exploded and I will link you a video because I did a video on the entire history of Krona Zen and we saw like the the sales figure and guys check this out man when I saw the sales figure bro like I was like this I went into coma midway through that video no cap I'll link you that video okay late the gameplay experience that I personally don't see the point of playing it and caps lock posted a video about how people will cheat and you'll never know or you might you might suspect but you can't prove and really Really, it's just not worth it. So, yeah. as far as I'm okay, concerned, Call of Duty, plot. at least to, to me, plot. is dead. I'm not really playing it the rest of the year. I, I didn't even play it today to check what was going on, mainly because uh, I, I don't trust the security of the game right now. And uh, what I mean by that is... Yeah, uh, you never know, guys. Like, your BBC might get leaked out. Oh, Yay! Oh, the servers apparently were cyber attack, okay? Uh, hopefully, you guys did not, like, steal your mommy and daddy, like, uh, credit card and put in the store uh, to get, like, one of those... Hey, 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 hey. Hopefully, you were not using your or your parents' credit card to buy, like, friendly UAVs online packs in the, in the store, right? Because, like, it got cyber attack allegedly, and you, you never know, right? Like, they might leak your BBC, they might leak your information, or get your credit card, or get a hold of your credit card information. So, yeah, guys, watch out, man. I think it actually is dead, at least as of today. As of me making this video around 4.30 p.m. EST, it's still messed up. Something happened early this morning where Call of Duty just got wrecked server-wise. Like, progression was broken, people were, were I don't know, that not being able to log in. Yeah. People were getting kicked, people were just being signed out of their profiles, etc., etc. But on top of that, I noticed that it knocked Call of Duty out of the top 25 on Steam. It's usually Dang. sitting around uh, spot 15, sometimes even as high as like 6 or 7. That's so it's wild. not completely shot on, on Steam, and uh, that's mainly due to... These are first world problems, right? Like, what are, what are we going to do when Call of Duty servers go down, right? What are we going to do? <laughs> Life as we know it, it's chalk, right? Like, there's nothing to do. These are like first world problems. I mean, I mean my guy, go out there, touch some grass, and do not buy like these uh you know that those retweet helmet that you uh, that blame truth has been promoting and also do not buy these friendly uav online guys uh, just, just or play other games man just play other games man it's the Warzone, okay. i think but anyway yeah it, it just was not in the top 25 today and i couldn't figure out why i'm like whoa why is this game just completely dead this morning i don't get it i know it's like i know it's declining in player base but at this rate it's a little suspect i looked it up apparently I'm a suspect. something's going on and speaking of uh -oh. something's going on is this shrek <laughs> This is not uh -oh. my gameplay, sorry. This is, I think, Sefi's. Um, <laughs> one of my gameplay guys. I don't play Titanfall, so uh, <laughs> it looked like he just stopped in the man, track. That's pretty funny. I, I love the homie, man. He's one of the, like, I love the sense of humor, obviously, and it's news, and with, with Call of Duty, like, there's never good news, but it's like, we're getting to the point where, like, the homie don't even play. He uses, like, <laughs> he is a gameplay guy. Like, listen, I also react to videos, and I discuss what's happening, and I share the news, and we, you know, we talk, we bond, and I'm like, I send you some kishish as well, and, and all that full on homo, by the I way. But, but you know what I mean, right? Like, we really getting, like, what is happening? I'm not blaming the guy, okay? I'm not, listen, I'm not pointing my fingers at him. I'm also not pointing fingers at me. I'm just saying, like, dog, the gaming industry, we living in a massive gaming depression, guys. That's where, what, what I'm trying to say here, the FPS scene is so chalk that Seconds would rather watch 
other people's videos. I'm, I'm actually pointing myself, okay? And Sigus would actually show other people gameplay, and I'm pointing at the homie Blame Truth right Bruh. now. Sigus would rather, and you guys would pro rather like watch this uh, than than actually play the, the the Call of Duties, or maybe you guys are playing Call of Duty and watching the videos. Of it. I mean, okay, that's fair, okay, if you're doing that. But a lot of people, instead of playing Call of Duty, they're like, okay, I'm gonna get my fix by watching the bad news videos about Call of Duty. And I mean, damn, I mean, that's one way to get therapy. And now is like actual professional therapy sessions they cost like a kidney okay you gotta sell your kidney in order to afford a therapy session right so god forbids you ever have to go to a professional therapy i'll, I'll say this man if you're a gamer I, you already know that i don't even have to say this but to reiterate the point if you're a gamer my guy you just need to watch like bad news call of duty videos to get your fix man simple as that guys Anyway, um, sorry, ADHD, getting distracted here by the gameplay. Anyway, something's going on, and I think it's actually a cyber attack uh -huh. or ransomware. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get to the tweets and the juice. I, I think now we're gonna make up some and some bull squash. Let's see. bits in just a second after a brief <laughs> word from this video yeah! spot. Yo, what? Is he promoting like... Okay, no, he's... Uh, hopefully he was not promoting that retweet helmet. Belt, I really do love him. And the best part about tangible... Call of Duty on a cringy bundle, well, you can't use it. Uh, and, uh -huh. you know, I mean, it's tied to that game, pretty much, so. Physical item, much more uh, useful in everyday life. But anyway, let's get into the nitty-gritty here. Get some in, stuff let's has get happened, to the plot, and um, I've personally never seen Call of Duty have these particular issues in all my time playing. We joke around that it's a billion-dollar company, we joke around that there's 3,000-plus devs and infinite resources, and while that's all true, for them to have these sorts of problems, something yeah. seriously, seriously wrong is happening. If this is an attack, they are going for the throat. Look at this. Call oh, of Duty no. servers are beyond broken right Oh, no. You know, it's crazy when the homie Mr. Garlic, or I should say Mr. Dalek JD says, Call of Duty servers are beyond broken right now. All servers for multiplayer? <laughs> Why is that as zombies have been broken? I have never seen Call of Duty this broken in my life. Damn. Right now. This was six, Damn. seven hours ago when I took the screenshot. Uh, all servers for MP, Warzone, and Zombies are broken. Rank has been reset. Weapon levels have been reset. Classes have been reset. Store bundles are gone. That's how you know it's really serious. Uh, for when you take what? Oh, shit. No, tell me that's not. That, that is impossible, though. You're telling me that friendly UAV, the friendly UAV, the BBC bundle is gone. You cannot buy the BBC bundle? What? Nah, that's crazy, though. Hey, their main source of revenue. That usually yeah. gets fixed instantly, and it's still messing up here. I've never seen COD this broken in my life. There's more, though. With the servers currently broken in Call of Duty across MW3, MP, and Warzone, it does appear that skill-based matchmaking is also not working properly. <laughs> and matchmaking is much more relaxed and easier right now. No updates yet on when it'll be fixed. Player progression will restore... Okay, this got to be serious because it, it, it's impossible. I can see the game being broken. I can see lack of content. I can see no love put into their game by the devs, right? I can I, I, I can believe that, right? But skill-based matchmaking not working and store not working. That's like impossible. So something for real would have, have happened to for, for them to be, you know, taking the servers down for the store and skill-based matchmaking. What's fixed, though? Now the rumor is, and this is just a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. Okay. This is making the rounds on Twitter. Let's Stuff like this, the gossip push. is basically all saying the same thing. This guy says that a multi-billion dollar company, <laughs> its game is completely fried right now. People think that they just got hit with a massive data breach or they were hit with ransomware. Ransomware, Now, damn. man, I, again, taking skill-based matchmaking to protect little Timmy off, taking the store bundles off, uh, Call of Duty themselves actually took off rank play. Like, they, they, they took down rank play, so you can't play ranked at all. Apparently, you can just play, and then, like, your progression will carry over when they restore everything, I, I think is what they're saying, but who knows, man. All I know is this, guys. This is serious. This is serious. It and is? when I said that it Call is? of Duty is, is dead, I, I kind of meant it figuratively. Damn. I kind of meant that multiplayer is dead. You know, traditional the traditional yearly multiplayer, pretty much done for, you know? Warzone, I think, is fine. COD Mobile, I think, is fine. But the yearly release cycle... Call of, I, I feel like the Call of Duty Mobile right now is one of the, the, the biggest uh, cash cow that they got, right? Uh, and after that, I would like to believe it's Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone and Mobile... Probably neck to neck, but if I have to take a guess, I think Call of Duty Mobile brings in a lot of the money because every time I see Call of Duty Mobile player, they're like, ah, 
happy. They're always happy, you know what I mean? Bruh. Meanwhile, Call of Duty Warzone player always struggling, always have to fight like cheaters. They're like really, really being sent into coma by all the actions that are being taken by Activision and by the sickers that are cheating in the game, right? So Call of Duty Warzone players never happy. Call of Duty multiplayer audience like non-existent as of right now, okay? So uh, it, and they know it's like no longer Modern Warfare 3, it's Modern War Chron or Modern Cronus Warfare 3 servers not working. You know what I mean? It's one of those It needs things to right go now. away. If, if nothing else, you need to go back to the drawing board because it just, it, it's so dead, man. Anyone that just sadly, plays multiplayer sadly. is in trouble. And as someone who has never had an interest in not only BR, but especially not Warzone, uh, I mean, what am I going to do? Just keep covering multiplayer as it gets worse and worse and dies more and more and people quit playing it more and more? I feel like people buy it every year in the hopes, like they're gambling or something. They're, they're gambling on it being good this particular yeah. year. It never is. And after a month or two, they just give up. And, uh, and right now, everybody's like, you'll call it. <laughs> Call of Duty 2024 is gonna save us that it's gonna be the best game ever. Listen, man, as a brown man, as a brown man, I demand, yo, Mr. President, you raise Mr. President, wakey, wakey, Joe Biden, wakey, wakey, Trudeau, man, Trudeau ruining Canada right now, bro. I'm in Canada, so I, I'm, it's a fact, okay? Trudeau ruining Canada, Joe Biden, you guys can agree or disagree. I'm not sure I'm not in America, but from an outsider looking in, uh, Biden ruining America right now, like, what is happening, bro? Wakey, wakey, Mr. President, as a brown man, I demand for you to cut these sickest chicken nugget supply. Somebody need to call Biden immediately, and as a brown man, man i demand call of duty multiplayer to go fully free okay remove skill based match again and for playstation and xbox to also have free online servers like the video like the video if you agree like the video if you agree or, or they just go play warzone or whatever or go play a different game and that's kind of being uh, sped up by the hacking issues and the cheating issues going on but i i think they're taking it a step further i mean think about it like this if this billion dollar company has one of the worst anti-cheats ever Who's to say that their security is any better, you know? Yeah, now, this facts, is the point in the facts, video facts. where we enter tinfoil hat territory. What if this is all Ooh, someone crap. on the inside? I mean, I was really sitting down and just thinking about this today. What if someone on the inside or a group of people on the inside are causing these issues? You know, like, think about this. Think about this. Billion dollar company can't stop this uh, engine owning cheat platform from yeah. making cheats for their game. Yeah. They, they cannot take them down. Why? They, they can't stop what they're doing. Why? They have infinite resources, yet they can't stop this from happening. Why? Maybe it's because, like, they need the helmet that you were promoting, bro. Like, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> maybe, maybe, like, if you were to give them, like, that free helmet, maybe their third eye would have been open, and maybe that veil would have been lifted, so they were able to see things more clearly and a lot more precisely. I think that's basically the crux of this. Uh, I think they need your helmets, bro. I think you need to send them your coupon code, 10% discount, maybe even if you can be generous than just a 10%, maybe send them like a 100% discount. Uh, and, and watch them fix the servers, bro. Like, that's I, how it's going. You know, like, a billion dollar company. Billion dollar company here. Billion dollar Boom. franchise here. And, and Microsoft bought it, so it's no longer a billion. It's like a trillion. <laughs> <laughs> right Can't on. stop this cyber attack <laughs> from happening. I, I don't understand it. And again, it goes back to that, that quote I've been using quite a bit. Either they're dumb as fuck, and uh -huh. they suck, or they're doing it on purpose. You know? Someone is either, I don't know, sabotaging the game from the inside, or they're just that stupid. They're, they're the richest, yet dumbest people I, I have ever seen. It's one or uh, the... And I would have believed that, and I know where you're coming from, but the, uh, see, the thing is that, that when they actually turn off skill-based matching and, and when they turn off their BBC bundles, that's when I'm like, nah, bro, like, you guys are literally shooting yourself on the foot because I can see the games being trash, bad, no love put into the game, and no content and whatnot. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I, I'm willing to believe also the servers being shut down, but when the stores, when the BBC... BBC bundles are inaccessible, you cannot buy the BBC bundles, and when you don't have skill-based mentoring active, active, that's what I'm, I believe that, nah, bro, like, they did not do this on purpose. They did not do this on purpose, though. The other, at this stage, I truthfully don't know which it is. I mean, I picked a good time not to play the game for the rest of the year, is all I'm gonna say. Yeah. It, yeah. I never thought I'd say this, actually. This is Stockholm Syndrome 100%, because you guys know I hated Cold War, but at the very least, Cold War yeah. felt... In its gameplay, it felt like a traditional 
Cold yeah, War. like Cold War is one of those games that I would go back to here and there for three weeks straight. I did play literally every day uh, for like solid two weeks that I have not touched it. But I don't have like anything bad to say about Black Ops Cold War. Like I would love to go back to it whenever I get time and hop on Nuketown 24-7 and play. It, it feels very, very good. It's fast. It's It feels Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, skill-based matchmaking doesn't feel too crazy either. The maps is small. It's Nuketown, I mean. Like, you know the map layout, right? So it's like... It's it's very very fun hop on play for 30 minutes an hour and that's it right like you can put a youtube video in the background because that's what i've been doing listen to a podcast catch up on the, the youtube videos and play in the background and when i play call of duty i don't have my game sound on though i, I feel like that for modern day call of duty games you cannot do that you need to be fully zoned in you gotta play it like your life depends on it because that's how everybody's playing call of duty dog that's how everybody's playing the games nowadays, man. And it just makes the games unfun, unenjoyable. Why do you play games? Why do I play games? Because we, we want to be stress-free. We want to come home from work or school or whatever, right? In my case, like, when I'm, like, done with the making videos there, like, I, I want to chill for a second, right? And I want to catch other YouTube videos and play at the same time. Like, it's it's a kind of a lot... It's, it's a lot more fun to play Call of Duty when there's, like, a YouTube video running in the background or, or a podcast that you're listening to and getting in information from and learn learning and growing than to just play the game alone with the game sound i don't want to do that i'm not sure how many of you guys actually play games with sound if it's a single player game yeah sure right like it's story then then understandable like whenever i play story games i i have gameplay audio uh, so i can get the, the the dialogue and the story and all that but for multiplayer games like call of duty dog i don't want to I, I just want to chill though and with modern day call of duty games you cannot do that because every time you're trying to play for fun skill based matching and it's gonna slow you down the next minute you're gonna see somebody bbc in front of your face or something like that you feel what i'm saying <laughs> so it's like it's unplayable though duty game it was treyarch's worst game by far it launched pretty much incomplete but yeah, as it true. went it's the only call of duty game in the past that turned out five to be good. years i think that's that's gotten slightly better as time has it went did. on I played that game all year. I, I did not like Cold War, but I, I liked it just enough to play it for YouTube and give you guys content on it. Now, here I am, yeah, you know, yeah. posting Titanfall. You're watching Shrek going around, wrecking people. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Nah, don't watch bro, that video nah, if you've never bro. seen it. Don't don't search that phrase on YouTube. Or maybe you can. It's fine. Uh, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. But I don't know what's going on. I will keep you guys updated as... I think the homie went too far, but guys, click on this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you saw that because it is literally Joe over, though. Like, this sucker okay, got caught cheating with his pants down. And, and you want to see what truly went down? You're not going to believe it. Dr. Disrespect oh, shit. Oh, caught shit. the guy cheating. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.